What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I just bought an Xbox One S and the controller continues to disconnect even though the controller's on. You guys can barely see the message there. Uh, I'm not sure why it's asking who are you, but Xbox is doing what it wants to do. Anyhow, as you guys can see the message there, it's saying controller disconnected, please reconnect controller one to continue. So when I purchased this Xbox, it was shipped out and it had a keyboard um, adapter. I removed the keyboard adapter and ever since I did that I keep getting this message where it just continues to get disconnected. So I'm going to show you guys what to do. This is not going to resolve like any drifting issues or anything like that. This is mainly uh, for controllers that are disconnecting. Now I just need to place the controller back in or the sorry I took the batteries out. I'm going to place batteries back in. Difficult to do while I'm holding the phone by myself and trying to take the batteries and put them back in. Okay, so batteries are back in. All right, message is gone, as you guys can see. Oop. Or maybe not. All right, let's try and see if we can go back to the home screen. All right, here we go, so home screen. So we're gonna go into settings, but this thing is not responding, so. That re oh, I think I finally got it to work. Here we go. All right, here we go, it's finally working. So we're gonna go into settings. We're gonna go into devices and connections. We're gonna go into accessories. We're gonna go, we're gonna scroll down to the three little dots on the bottom left hand corner. Gonna select A. All right, and all we're gonna do is we're gonna update the firmware. Okay, you see how it says update now? On the, on the top left hand corner there, we're gonna select update now. And that's all it's gonna do, it's gonna update it. This should resolve the problem, as I was mentioning before guys. This isn't to resolve any drifting issues or anything like that. Uh, for drifting, there's other videos, you'll more than likely have to take the controller apart, clean it up, or maybe even replace some of the components in the motherboard of the controller. But this um, here should definitely resolve the issue. All right, post your comments below. Did it work? Did it not work? Thanks for watching, guys.